Valley Metro has plans to extend the light rail line. The trains would run another three miles past the Dobson and Main stop. Reporter Taryn Hale talked to business owners about the extension and joins us live in Phoenix. Well, here we have been adjusting to these rail lines that connect us to Tempe and to Mesa. Now there is a plan to extend these lines into the heart of Mesa, and already business owners are speculating on how this is going to affect them. The Mesa Typewriter Exchange is a portal to the past. But there's a clatter outside about the future. Light rail system. The light rail. Light rail? What's that? The extension of the Metro Light Rail is scheduled to arrive in downtown Mesa in 2016. The decision of whether it would be extended was made by voters long ago. And some business owners are on board about its impact on Main Street. We're very hopeful uh, light, the light rail will be a big uh, advantage for downtown Mesa. However, some Mesa business owners are worried about the construction that will come before the light rail ever even gets here. People don't want to walk around when there's jackhammers going out. The mayor says that is not likely to happen most days. Construction has been limited to the summer when business is already down. That's a three care. Gunnell's Jewelry has been in Mesa for 63 years and has survived many building projects. If we got through that, we'll, we'll be able to get through the uh, light rail. Bill Wall of Mesa Typewriter Exchange isn't worried either. I don't think I would miss a beat uh, with my customers. And with customers like Johnny Rosen, it's no surprise. I'm going to come here regardless of light rail. If I have to park two miles away and hitchhike here, I'll do it. Because it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how I get here as long as I get here. They're confident the store won't suffer the same fate as a typewriter during the coming years of light rail construction. Now the construction is supposed to start either the end of next year or sometime in 2013. Now already the city is working on a plan to improve parking and signage behind the stores so that by the time it starts, customers will be able to access the businesses on First Street and First Avenue. Live in Phoenix, I'm Taryn Hale, Cronkite News.